Hello everybody and welcome back once again to let's play Metal Gear Solid 5. So in the last session, what did we do? We did a couple of missions, didn't we? Please select a mission. We did... A Hero's Way, where we had to extract the Spetsnaz Commander, or eliminate him, one or the other. And uh, we did that on camera, along with a side op mission uh, to get some blueprints secure the Riot SMG blueprints from Duvialo Kille Village. As you can see Please off camera, a mission. I did replay A Hero's Way. I think I got an... did I get a B rating or an A rating on camera? I can't remember. Uh, but uh, yeah, I redid it and got an S rating. I took the Spetsnaz Commander out with a sniper rifle for more than 100 meters in quick time, got in, got out within about 4 minutes and got an S rating, so I'm very happy with that, very happy indeed. So uh, yeah, today we're going to move swiftly on to uh, Over the Fence, but uh, before we do dive on in to a, another mission, we do have uh, some cassette tapes to play. The Afghanistan ones I'm not overly fussed about, and we can actually listen to these whilst we're running around in the field, so uh, the ones that I'm not bothered about I will listen to them in the field. But the ones that I'm interested in listening to properly, I will listen to whilst not doing anything. Because I can't do too many multiple tasks at the same time. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Mother Base issues here, so we'll listen to these. Ocelot said the number of private forces is increasing, and they've modelled themselves after us. They're a far cry from the likes of us. But why? Nine years ago we made enemies of the world as a nuclear-equipped force, independent of ideology or state. Yes. Sooner or later, the real UN would have stepped in. So why are they giving these PFs free reign? That's our fault, too. What do you mean? What happened nine years ago was a real problem for a lot of people. An organization as big as ours, with our facilities, was wiped off the map. Not an easy thing to hide. But if our existence came to light, so would the names of our clients. We had contracts all over, east and west, from superpowers to banana republics, the lot. Our clients denied all association with the likes of us. They had to make sure things didn't blow up on them. But at the same time, they missed us. They really missed us. The demand for armies for hire was as strong as ever. The international community turned a blind eye to what happened to us, despite still needing people who could do our jobs. History couldn't afford to lose us. As soon as we were gone, they needed a replacement. So private forces spread everywhere. And they're all just a phone call away. But still... I know. PFs are totally different from what we envisioned. Nation states, revolutionaries, terrorists... They have a lot of clients. And Cypher is one of them. Cypher stays anonymous. But I know their work when I see it. In the eyes of those clients, the world's PFs are all just expendable pawns. The clients don't have to worry about losing their own men. Nobody knows they're involved. And PFs are cheap. In short... The world is chewing up soldiers and spitting them out. Even some of the old Mother Base's survivors are still working for PFs. Some guys created their own smaller forces. Others were taken on by emerging PFs. Everybody's gone their separate ways. But none of them are living their dream. Because they're not fighting with you. Of course, I tried to headhunt as many of them as I could for Diamond Docks. It was all a waste of time. They said they weren't interested without you to lead them. But now you're back. And everything's gonna change. We'll unite all private forces under you. Transcending nations and economies. What is a nation? Just a patch of dirt. The bonds among us will surpass nations. And that's what'll put the world under our control. We'll establish a new kind of country. Redefine the very concept of it. Even Cypher will be below us. An extraterritorial federation of military nations. The United States of Force. Once word of Big Boss's return starts traveling, that'll be our true deterrent against Cypher. In other words, no one will dare to come gunning for you. How do you figure? Cypher lacks a large-scale fighting force. PFs are the perfect tool for them. But those PFs revere you. The legendary Big Boss. If Cypher killed you now, they wouldn't take it lying down. 
Maybe they'd even go looking for revenge. But they definitely wouldn't keep doing Cypher's dirty work, even if it put their lives at stake. That's why it's no longer a benefit to Cypher to get rid of you. The very fact that you're alive is our greatest defense against Cypher. Nice to know. It'll buy us some time while we get back to full strength. Just keep in mind that what I'm saying is generalizing a lot. In practice, the PFs around the world don't know your face. Just declaring that your big boss won't be enough to convince them. And if they see you as an enemy, they'll come at you with everything they've got. Some hero. That's why you need to bring them back to Mother Base. Show them on your terms that you really are the one and only big boss. Once you've proven that, they won't hesitate to join us. Big boss is back. Right, and we also have some information about what happened to the other mother base members. Snake, do you remember Amanda? Yeah, I do. Their revolution was a success. Somoza resigned, and Nicaragua has a new government. Amanda's really working hard for her country to be reborn. Good for them. She says she wishes Chico could be there. That revolution was the dream. For Amanda, for Chico, and their father. That chopper was no place for Chico to die. I'd like to at least think history will remember his part in the revolution. When you pick up a gun, there's always a chance you'll die for nothing. He knew that as well as the rest. Now that he's gone, it's up to the rest of us to decide what it was all worth. If we don't, there's nothing to prove that Chico ever lived at all. Where is Mark on the world? Amanda told us that Strangelove contacted her after the revolutionaries came to power in Nicaragua. Strangelove? The AI researcher from Mother Base? I remember her. We'd lost touch with her. Till Amanda heard from her out of the blue. She told Amanda she wanted to salvage Peace Walker's drive parts or something from the bottom of Lake Nicaragua. Amanda passed the request on to her friends in the new administration. She's a national hero now, after all. So Strangelove got a Soviet military aircraft to transport something to somewhere. But apparently the cargo wasn't big enough to have been Peace Walker itself. So what was it? Who knows? We recovered Peace Walker's nuclear warhead ourselves nine years ago. What could Strangelove have been after? Amanda said she didn't mention what her reason was or where she was headed. Nicaragua is a socialist state now. And with Amanda vouching for her, the government didn't feel the need to concern itself with the details. All Strangelove told Amanda was that she was going to continue her research, and that the rest was a secret. Right before the attack, Huey was in the control tower to prepare for the inspectors. He was with them when it all went down. The control tower collapsed with the rest of its strut. His body was never recovered. But he was the one who met the inspection party when they arrived. And he was the one who showed the nuclear inspectors to the tower. You remember the way it went. First he recommends we agree to the inspection. Then he gives them the okay without our permission. All the time acting as if he was doing us a favor. On top of that, he even had the guards disarmed that day. It would send the wrong message, he said. Whatever the angle, it all leads back to Huey. I curse my own stupidity for not realizing sooner. Huey escaped with that unit by chopper. I've been hunting him for nine long years. The other reason I was operating around Afghanistan was to dig up his location. Huey's in Afghanistan? Yes. And I have a good idea where. Now we just wait for the right moment. This time, we'll be the ones using him. He's going to tell us who our guests really were that used a fake nuclear inspection to blast our home into the ocean. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm, so we're going to get a chance to confront him, I imagine, at some point. Okay. Ha, huh. new music tape. Nah, not as good as my favourite. Right. Please select a mission. Over the fence, then. We have to extract an engineer from the Waxin Barracks. Play the briefing tape. If we're going to expand Mother Base, we need more manpower. And not just for combat roles either. R&D, the support unit, intel, each demands a different set of skills. If we want to achieve what we've set out to do, Diamond Dogs has got to get stronger. 
There's a Soviet engineer I want to have join us. He was the one who built your prosthesis. With him on our side, who knows what sort of enhancements he'll come up with for it. He tried to defect but didn't make it, and now he's being held prisoner at Waxin Barracks. Find this engineer and get him out. Having him on our R&D team will go a long way to helping Diamond Dogs grow. Okie dokie. So he's a bionics specialist. And there's also a blueprint present in the uh, barracks somewhere. And he can work on my prosthetic arm. Valuable addition? I think so. So let's go get him. Accept mission accepted. The mission. And we'll come in from here. Dropping in. Silenced weapon. Lethal takedowns if things go wrong. Sniper rifle. Not silenced. It matters not from a distance. Okay. So we've got uh, our flare grenade, our flare supply, magazine, grenade, C4, and capture cage. And we have updated our Fulton device, which is now at level 2, which means we get more um, Fulton devices to use. I think we go from 12 to 24, so that's pretty good as well. And the reason why I waited a little bit is to get to this part of the music. <laughs> I really like it. Let's go! Night time. So, what is the goal? It's to get in and get him out, get the blueprints, without being seen. Not bothered about ratings. I'll replay, I'll replay the mission to get the better ratings, but for now, just not getting seen is good enough for me. Keep playing that tune. <laughs> so apparently he can he can alter my prosthetic arm, modify it. Sounds like fun. Come on, the mayonnaise. Let's get going. We have a what looks to be a bear in the distance. Oh my god. I don't think I want to be messing with that thing, but I imagine that we will be able to extract that. Would we get a decent amount of coin for extracting that? Probably. To be quite frank with you. I really don't fancy tackling a bear right now. Oh. Ooh. 
Or we shall leave it be. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. That's the Waxin Barracks. The target is somewhere inside that outpost. The Soviets consider him a traitor now, so he'll be treated like any other prisoner. And how's that? Like crap? Probably. Okay, we've got a nice little vantage point here. Analysis complete. So we'll just take a nice scout of the Analysis area. Analysis complete. See what we can find. Analysis complete. In terms of enemy movements, enemy positions. Seems to be lightly fortified, which is of course a massive benefit to us. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. More for any more. That seems to be it. Analysis complete. Some kind of uh, outpost here on the outskirts of the barracks. I don't see any reason to go there. What's that? Is that resources? I'm falling. CM. Common metals, maybe? If that's a resource, I need it. So there may well be a reason now to go up there. I think he's running back to his car, you know. Which means I've got to be pretty swift. Let's have a look at his stats. Is he worth nabbing? Come on. See an intelligence. Probably worth nabbing. So I've got to quickly wipe this guy out. And then nab the guy in the car. Quick, 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 kill. Uh oh. Okay, I've got his attention. Did he see the moving box or did he see the, the guy on the ground? Not sure. But whatever it is. We've got his attention. Surprise! Oops. <laughs> Peekaboo! Oh dear. Right. So I'm hoping that we can extract all of these without any attention.
Lovely. Bit of a detour. Subject on board. But Leave worth it. Worth it for some resources. A couple of new additions to Mother Base personnel. And a turret. Or a machine gun or whatever the hell it is. Certainly worth it. Jesus. Gotta get outside the range of this light. You have arrived at your destination. There we go. I think we've got him here. I think we've got him. Gotta be accurate though. There we go. Go to sleep, my darling. Go to sleep. Oh, is he close enough to to see the uh, extractions? He could be. I'll wait till he walks away. Then we'll extract the mortar, the machine gun, and the guard. Fine. Nobody is batting an eyelid. Ah. He's coming too. Roger that. All right. See some more resources on the table over there. Okay, where's this guy going? Only to there. It's not quite close enough. Let's see if we can lower him. Too far. I think you'll notice this. I wanted to go that far, I wanted to go here. About there. There we go. <laughs> it's raining mag magazine clips. Hallelujah. Come on, mister. Just wanted to go out of the line of sight of him up there. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. There we go. Go on. Go on, sweetness. Go investigate. Come on. There's a noise over there. Do you hear it? Uh oh. You don't have to radio to your colleagues to tell them that, surely? Stupid ass. He sees me here. Uh. Woof! Gotcha. Come with me. I have some questions for you. Like, where's that prisoner? All the blueprints. Either will do. There we go. Now talk. Thank you. Look. Anything else? He's all right. Spit it out. The map has been updated. Where are the others? <sighs> Don't move. Where did he come from? Is he worth extracting? 
Nah, it's got a skill. That skill, don't know what it could be, but uh, well, we're gonna take him, if only just to get him out of the uh, out of the area. Where do we putting them lights out? Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Hopefully he won't see me. <gasps> Is he going to come down here now? Here he comes, running down. Did I see something? Maybe. Maybe not. But I've got him out of the way. Oh. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. I'm a little bit close to them here. I mean, we are in darkness, so we should be okay. There's no lights on us here. Should be able just to stay low, move kind of slowly. We need to be going through there. Don't really want to walk through the door, so I'm hoping we can go up here and round some way. There's a door that we would have gone through, or could have gone through, through the front doorway. That would have brought us to the door here. So this is the barracks. Right. Let's get scouting. Analysis complete. Got a soldier there, got a diamond on the table flashing at us. We're going to have to grab that at some point, but it's Analysis right in complete. the open. There's a guard there. Guard up there. Analysis complete. The prisoner appears to be through there. That building's only half finished, but looks like someone's in there. You see a lot of that around here. Put up a building and just keep adding more as you need it. Yeah, the prisoner's marked on my map from that soldier's intel, and he is in that building. But, uh, yeah, it is night time. There is some lights, but it does appear to be not too heavily defended, this place. There's a guard sleeping in the barracks room over there. Got something glinting over there. Something glinting on the table there. Could be a diamond. Oh, he's waking up now. Okay. So just going to take it nice and steady. No need for us to cause a scene. Could really do with um, interrogating a couple more guards, find out where these blueprints are, and any other additional information. Oh. Wait a minute. I've seen another guard. Analysis complete. There could be guards in all of these damn barracks that I can't see yet. There's another one. I see you. Analysis complete. That's three guards. It's gone. F it's gone from not many guards to quite a few all of a sudden. And another one. Look at this. They're pouring in and out. Analysis complete. I 
wonder if we can go down there, up into them rocks, round the back, and sort of get across to this side of the barracks. I do want to check these barracks out, these little dorms, but I don't think it's going to cause a problem. I'd rather check the dorms on my way out. If I can get the prisoner extracted, then I'm under less pressure and I can just extract and I can cause a scene at that point. Not bothered. But causing a scene going in is more of an issue. So if I go and get the prisoner now and then explore these on the way back, that might be more practical. Because there's, there's a few soldiers in this area. Some of them might not be yet uncovered as well. Could be a couple in some of these buildings that I haven't seen yet. So it's a little, it's, it's very, very risky. And we're not here predominantly. Oh, and there's a cassette tape as well, by the sounds of it. Uh, we're going to have to come back here. We're certainly going to have to come back here. But yeah, but this is not our primary objective. So we'll deal with our primary objective first, and then anything else can come afterwards. We'll just see if we can. Just make ourselves as inconspicuous as possible <coughs> and take a very wide berth. Right. There is a staircase here. I wonder if that will go down into the lower level, because it's probably safer to go through here than it is to go waltzing through there. Oh yeah, and I want the diamond as well, so we're going to have to come back into the heart of this barracks to get whatever it is we need to get. But uh, yeah, we'll do that afterwards. Let's just stick to the shadows. You have arrived at your destination. I'm going to have to be very, very careful here. Very careful. Boss, you've entered a building. Always keep an escape route in mind when you head indoors. If you get surrounded, you'll have nowhere to run. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. But don't worry, I'm Big Boss, I'll find. I'll find an escape route somehow. <laughs> 